much broken trauma to untamed wood. I'm fucked up in the head. If you can't let me just say it. I came from sleeping on the floor. I'd rather sleep in the bed. I keep my pistol real close. Bitch, I'm cautious, I ain't scared I'm dealing with paranoia So all I see is red I'm fucked up in the head In the head, in the head I'm fucked up in the head In the head, in the head What up though, y'all? It's your boy Bill <clears throat> I use, I'm in the basement right now I usually be upstairs at the table But they got something going on up there right now So I'm just kicking it down here I'm about to give y'all this little short story time, then I'm about to dip, go lay it down. Because, you know, I got me a little job at a little warehouse, and I got to be to work in the morning at 6. <clears throat> All right. A lot of people been saying, making comments and asking questions about, like, the structure, the unity. Like, damn, I wish it was more unity in there, this, this, and that. And a lot of time when people speak of that, they always talk about race every time they speak of the white boys, the Mexicans, the blacks, you know, stuff like that. Now, I can't speak for the feds. I can't speak for the West prison like California because they say that stuff really matters there. In level five high security prisons in Georgia, that shit means nothing. It don't matter about your race. It's determined the gangs and you know sometimes if you just stand up as individual but sometimes even being a stand-up individual i mean you don't got the the numbers you don't got the influence over nobody to really just run it so that's why i say the gangs because i can be stand up all i want to and she if ain't nobody listening to me ain't no i can't tell nobody hey go do that you know what i'm saying i don't run shit I just know I'm a go if you try to fuck with me. So the way it works in the level five high security Georgia prison, it's all about the gangs. Um, now I've been in dorms where it's very structured because you got the GDs and all the GDs going to listen to the GDs. You got the bloods, all the little bloods going to listen. The Crips, they all going to listen. Now, when I say this one, I want y'all to understand when I say the Muslims, because a lot of people is going to stress like, oh, Muslim Islam, that's a religion. That's not a gang. Woo, doo, woo, doo, woo. You know, all this and that. Just take it from somebody that was just in there for nine years of their life. I mean, you can label it however you want to, bro. In the Georgia level five prison, it's a gang, bro. It's, it's a game. That's just bottom line, bro. And I'm not trying to offend nobody. If you are a uh, part of the Islam, hopefully I don't offend you or nothing. I'm not trying to say nothing down about your religion or nothing. But, I mean, everything that the gang members do, they do also. So I got to add them on the list. They going to listen to them. Um, you got the white boys got, you got some white boys got something called, uh, ghost face. They gonna, they gonna pretty much, you know, be in line with each other. But it's like this. If we at this prison, this a thousand man prison. It's a thousand people here. It's a thousand inmates housed at this prison. And out of this thousand, <clears throat> you got 400 bloods, 400 GDs. 200 Muslims. That's a, that's a thousand right there. We're just going to add two more hundred for the civilians. Let's say we got 1,200 here. You got 400 blood or 300 blood, 300 GD, 300 Muslim, and the other two, 300 just civilians. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much whatever law those people in them groups lay down, that's about how it's going to go. So if they say, hey, you know what, bro? We are black men because most of them are, but you got white boys as GDs. You got white boys as Muslims. It's very rare to see white boys as bloods in prison, but it does happen. Like in my nine years, I think I've seen about three of them. But it does happen. I've seen Mexicans, a part of all the black gangs. But, <clears throat> man, pretty much as far as unity and structure, it's nothing like it was once upon a time back in the day. Where they was just, you know, 
all for fighting oppression and, and, and being righteous. It's nothing like that now because now niggas just don't give a fuck. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like they go to you got. It just depends on where you at, what type of mindset people got. Because if I'm in the dorm and I'm affiliated with this group and it's a whole bunch of us in here and I got the level head, I know how to think and make decisions and I prove that I'm worthy of leadership, then they pretty much going to listen to me. Now, if I'm a, a jackass, I think stupid, but I also know how to deal with them and treat situations they listen to me. So if I'm just on bullshit, we robbing niggas, we stabbing niggas up, they going to listen to me. And that's our unity. That's our structure right there. But if you around level-minded people, like, you know what? Nah, we not doing that. We not robbing none of our brothers. We not, we not, we not fucking up the police. We not doing this and that. Then they going to listen to them. It just all depends on where it's at. But that race shit, everybody keep dropping in the comments, man, that don't mean nothing, bro. It's not, it's just not California. We just speaking to Georgia. That don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? You got Mexicans, that's Crips. Bloods, I mean, uh, shit, that don't mean nothing, bro, and um, like I say, bro, it's just, at the end of the day, it just boils down to, to where you at, what type of people you around, I have personally been to prisons that's very structured, I'm talking about the gang members got their people on point, like, hey, listen, bro, you're not finna be around this bitch sagging your clothes, looking stupid. You're not about to be disrespecting these officers. You're not finna be robbing no civilians just because, just because you got a group of people to go with you. We're not finna do none of that. You do any type of sucker stuff like that, they'll beat your ass, they self, and put you on the door. And for the people who don't know what put you on the door means, that's just a term saying, you about to come out this dorm and go to the hole. So if you in the dorm chilling and you do something crazy, I'm like, man, get on the door. Roll your shit up and get on the door. You just basically leaving. You packing all your property and you leaving out the dorm. You going to the hole. Then when you come out the hole, you get with your gang and see if you can come out the hole. You know, all that type of shit. But, yeah, I've been to prisons like that. But then I've been to prisons where, you know, the leadership is some bullshit. I'm talking about straight bullshit. I'm talking about soon as soon as I've been to prisons where as soon as you come to the most prisons, especially level five prisons in Georgia, as soon as you come through the door as a new intake off the dribble, what's up, bro? What you is? They don't give a fuck about your name, where you from, none of that shit. What are you affiliated with? Now, if you in the game, they gonna help you to your room, carry your property. If you say you're a civilian and you're not in the gang, it just depends on what type of leadership you're around. Cause I done been to some leadership. I done been around some where they fuck with them. Okay, bro, that was up. You a civilian? That's straight. Then I done been around some. You a civilian, nigga? What? Give me that shit, bitch. Ass nigga, pull out a knife on them. It's eight of them, so they not worried about this one man doing nothing. But um, last thing for I dip to be all the way honest, all the way one hundred with y'all. As much as I used to stress about us fighting against oppression and, and you know, trying to stress to these brothers what these gangs was really made for back when they was created, I don't see it getting no better, bro. I see it getting worse, 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 going downhill, downhill, downhill. Matter of fact, I'm going to put, I'm about to post, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to post the, uh, I'm going to put these screenshots and I'm going to screenshot them on my other phone, try to get them on here real quick, where I was talking to two individuals from the same prison I just left today. And they both told me in separate occasions, like, yeah, we locked down. Nigga just got killed today. They locked down the whole prison, locked down right now because somebody just got killed in the fucking kitchen. Just got killed. About what? I don't know. But... You know, it's just like it's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. You you got, it's like everybody, I feel like what's wrong with the leadership now, everybody is trying to prove they self. Instead of niggas trying to get money and get their shit together and get them a lawyer and get out of chain gang, everybody trying to prove that they a shooter. I'm trying to prove that I stab a nigga. I'm trying to prove that I go fight a nigga. So that's what's fucking it up because everybody on that. 
especially at these high security prisons because a lot of people got life sentences. And for the people who not trying to fight it, a lot of them feel like it's over with for them anyway. So they on some shit like, I know I'm not going home. I don't give a fuck. These bitch ass niggas think they got damn such, 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 such. Strap up, grab your knives. Let's go shoot. Let's go stab these niggas ass up. And it's like, bro, that shit is just nonstop. That shit nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. I'm talking about that shit will really fuck you up mentally. Sometimes to this day, at my, at my, at my people in them house, I, I catch myself if I hear a sudden noise or anything, I be jumping like a motherfucker looking around. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm getting better with it, but. Yeah, so far as uh unity and structure, that's pretty much how it goes. It just all depends on where you at, who you around, and all that. But like I say, end of the day, bro, that shit getting worse and worse, bro. Them niggas just, they not caring no more. Like, the leadership used to, if, if they see they people doing some bullshit, they usually pull up on them. Hey, bro, tighten up. What the hell you doing, bro? You tripping? Nah, we don't move like that. Now, they don't give a fuck. It's just certain from where I just left, they don't give a fuck. They wait until it's too late to address situations. Like, I'm going to give you a quick example. Where I just left from, it was a dude that he had <clears throat> a, a, a habit of like, like getting into it with people. Always getting into it with people. When he get into it with people, he'll say anything out his mouth. He'll say the most disrespectful, reckless thing out his mouth. But he's affiliated. He's in the game. So the 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 problem with that is usually if you're up under the right structure and everybody on the same page, as soon as you get into it with somebody and go to talking crazy, your folks supposed to pull up on you like, hey, bro, you tripping. You ain't about to start no big ass issue with a whole nother game because you can't control your motherfucking mouth. You better chill your ass out. That's how it's supposed to be. And at some prisons it is. But where I just left, they'll wait. They, they'll they see they brother out there tripping. They won't say nothing. They won't do nothing. They won't address it no type of way. So then once he get into it with a, with a rival group, and then everybody out here on the, on the dance floor, they just call the dance floor the big floor. Like the big flow in the dorm, that's where they go and have big stabbings at. Everybody out here on the dance floor, it's 30, 40 knives out. And they like, no, nah, nigga, that nigga talking crazy. He called me a bitch ass nigga. That's when they want to try to get involved and try to discipline their people. Nah, nigga, you need to do that as soon as you realize the problem. As soon as you see something as a problem, address it, deal with it right then and there. Don't fucking wait. Until a nigga ready to kill his ass because you can be in your room chilling. You hear your brother out here doing some dumb shit. You don't address it. You don't pull him over. You don't say nothing about it. You get up. You go in your box. Finna grab you a bag of chips. You just hear some fucking screaming. Now you stick your head out the door. Your brother out here getting stabbed by three, four niggas. What you gonna do? Now you got to jump out there and slide with him. You see what I'm saying? You might feel like, man, that dumb ass nigga, man, fuck that nigga. Now you say fuck him and you don't go slide with him. Once it's all said and done, they're going to slide on your ass for not sliding with him. So if you just address the problem in the beginning, nigga, you can avoid these issues. You see what I'm saying? But they don't think like that, bro. And I just all praise to the most high. His name is a higher. I am so, 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 so happy and proud, bro. That I was blessed with an opportunity, bro, to come up out that motherfucker. Because when I was in that county jail with six armed robbers, six counts of hijacking, six counts of uh, possession of a firearm during commission of a crime and a kidnapping, man, them folks was talking about 30 years. That's a life sentence. And, man, I got a few of them charges dropped. And I made it out of nine years, and I just thank the most high every day, bro, because I know that shit ain't getting no better. It's going to get way worse, way, way, way worse. But that's it for tonight. That's what I. That's all I got on unity and structure. If there's anything specific y'all want to uh, story time on, just drop it in the comments. I'll make sure I get around to it. I'm about to try to get these pictures just so I can show y'all I ain't capping. Um... And then I'm about to go to sleep, and I'll catch up with y'all another time. All right, that's love. All right, now this one I had just checked in on one of my bros. 
Um, he just told me they was locked down. Somebody got killed today. And uh, you see how the conversation just moved on like he hadn't said nothing. He's just like, yeah, all the time. It's just we so used to it happening. It's not even like a big, big surprise no more. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy, but shh, that's just the life in there, man. Shit's sad, bro. Now, on this one, I had checked in on one of my other bros, and uh, he pretty much told me the same thing. He like, shit, just woke up. I'm like, that's right. I ain't on shit cool. And we locked down. Somebody got killed. You don't know who? So he said his name at first. I'm like, I don't know him. So he said something else and made me remember exactly who it is, but I just put scratched all that out because I ain't about to put dude name or what he said to make me remember him. So I'm just like, damn. And then he video called me and told me uh, about shit happened in the kitchen. Some shit happened in the nigga. They stabbed him up, killed the nigga. That was just today or yesterday, whenever. 